good afternoon and welcome to a brand new series. We're on NASCAR Heat 3. I know NASCAR Heat 4 is out. I don't have it yet. I'm probably just going to wait for Heat 5 to come out when the PS5 comes out. And we'll do that. Anyway, we're going to do a season um, a season series. Time Might do career at some point. But we're going to start with the season. We're going to be racing as Brad Keselowski all season. And don't worry, this isn't going to be a two-hour long episode of anything. Right now, I'm just going to do a quarter of the laps here at the Daytona 500. And we're going to work from that and see if that was long enough, short enough, or just right in between. Also, in terms of paint schemes, I'm running the 2018 setup with the Ford Fusion. Um, I wish I wasn't. I kind of want to do the 2019 so I can get a Ford Mustang. But if I get a Ford Mustang with the 2019 setup, it actually limits the amount of paint schemes I can have to just about one per, per driver. Let's face it, if I'm going to do the 2019 setup at some point, I'm going to race as Ryan Newman in the 6 because he's got a Oscar Mayer car that is covered in sandwiches. We're going to be driving the sandwich mobile. Anyway, we're just going to try to finish up qualifying here. We'll jump into the race. I'm doing single race stage instead of three stages. That way... We can get the race done as hopefully as quick as possible. My tire and fuel wear is on double the amount, so I actually have to pit at some point in the race. And then uh, difficulty right now is set on 95. It was on 100. I set it to 95 to hopefully kind of even things out. We'll see how it goes. Got one lap left here to qualify. We're also doing quick qualifying. We're not doing the stage qualification either. That takes a little bit too long for my liking. And it also makes me mad when I see people qualify faster than I do. When people are clearly going to be faster than I am. For the most part. We'll see. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to win this debut at Daytona here. We're taking over for the number two. Brad Keselowski's my favorite driver, and he actually did race. Um, this year, in the 2020 Daytona 500, he did race in the discount tire car. So I'm going to try to keep it as legit as possible with the current paint schemes that he's running this year. All right, that's it. Hey, we qualified eight. Not bad. Unfortunately, it's on the outside, and I hate running the outside. Kurt Busch got first. He got the pole. Anyway, I'm going to try to keep the paint schemes as legit as possible. I might throw in a Miller Lite car here and there because he did. I love those Miller Lite cars that he used to drive. But anyway, we qualified eighth. We're getting ready to go. Let's jump into the race. I don't think any modifications need to be done to the car. The Daytona 500, 60th annual. Reed Sorensen, Mr. No Name, no sponsor, no nothing. And the number 66 with maybe one sponsor on the side there or in the back. We're in eighth. Boogity, 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 boo. Let's go racing, boys and girls. All right, you're coming to the green. Let me know if the volumes and everything are right for you, is all right for you guys as well. Because the difference between what I hear and what you guys hear is I've got a volume-controlled headset, and I've got to mess with the settings to get with you guys here. Let's see if we, can, if we can't bump... Kevin Harvick up here. I also like to see the variety with all the uh, CPU paint schemes that they use during the races. And if I don't, uh, if I don't use the 2018 lineup, I won't have that. There's also a couple different race driver changes. Um, Ryan Newman is still in the 31. A couple of different changes like that. Bush is in the 41 still versus the number one Monster Energy car different things like that so I want to get out of this I want to get down low so let's see here we've got 50 laps excuse me 50 laps out of the 200 normally driven at this track and I'm bouncing off the floor right away 
Truex Jr., I'm pretty sure, with the 2019 update, had actually a number change as well. I'm just going to sit here right behind Lagana right now and see if I can. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm having a hard time controlling my car here. I'm racing on an Xbox, so I'm using a controller. I don't even have, like, a wheel, pedals, anything like that. 100% controller. A lot of people will race these and stream these off of their PC. I don't have a strong enough PC to do that. I just have a little, little laptop. Let's see if I can get to the outside here. So my apologies about my voice. If I go from sounding okay to sounding like I'm dying, it's because I've had some sinus issues, no infection or anything, just drainage, allergies. We're changing from where where I live. We're changing to uh, to spring pretty quickly here. And the pollen is all up in the air, and I'm losing my draft partner up here. We've actually created a decent amount of space. I might actually bump up the difficulty. This is already feeling a little too easy. Next race, we might bump up the difficulty. And uh, I think it's Vegas we'll be going to. Vegas, I'm pretty sure Brad, this past year, drove a worth red to black fade car. If I'm right, white to red to black. I don't have that, so I'm probably just going to run the discount tire again. We'll see. Maybe I'll run the monster, monster energy. Let's get past Logano here. Try to take first. We got him. I've gotten actually a lot better at Daytona over the uh, over the course of me playing more and more NASCAR. I picked it up um, once again. I picked up. Uh, I've had NASCAR, all the NASCAR Heat games at one point. NASCAR Heat Evolution, the very first one, was probably the worst one. I haven't picked up his Heat 2 in a while. And obviously I'm racing Heat 3, but I started racing again probably five, six months ago. And I've just been consistently playing it, and I like it, so I might just make it a series. See, now I'm pulling Logano and Bush behind me there. So I, I was never the biggest fan of Daytona. I never really qualified here very well. Um, I played through a season in NASCAR, the game Inside Line on the Wii, and I think that was actually the very first NASCAR game I ever had. And I played with whoever, and I don't remember this far back, but I played with Jeff Gordon and whoever drove the Kroger car at the time. I used to work for used to work for them. It was a pretty all right job. So this is up on YouTube now. If you guys want to catch these live, um, I don't necessarily tweet out or post or do anything when I'm doing a live recording. But I do these on Mixer.com, so you can find it at Mixer.com forward slash ShyGuy2231. Daytona is one of these races, too, where you can just go full throttle and ride it out. And I've actually got people catching me now. My oil temperature is concerning me just the tiniest bit. It's at 208. Once it gets towards the 210 level, that's where it gets a little bit concerning for me. We'll see what happens. If it gets up towards 210, I might have to take a pit. Drop some tape. If, if worse, worse comes to worse there. And so I was a Jeff Gordon fan growing up, and then he retired, so I chose Carl Edwards. And then the season after Jeff Gordon retired, Carl Edwards retired after Joey Logano wrecked him at uh, Homestead during the championship race. He was set up to win that thing, too. 
And then uh, I picked Brad Keselowski afterwards, and I've been watching ever since. I actually ended up watching the Auto Club race most recently, and that was, for some reason, it's pretty much every man for himself out there. It's such a wide track. People get spread out so much. Um, but Alex Bowman ended up winning that in his Cincinnati car, and that was a really, really nice car to watch uh, race. It was black, and black, white, and burgundy. And it was nice. I got cause, um, Joey Logano coming up here on the left-hand side. I think he's just inside my bumper there. I'm not going to dive. And so maybe if this responds really well, maybe I'll do a season with the Sandwich Mobile or something like that. Maybe I'll do a career mode. And so whoop, off the wall a little bit. My favorite car, I think, that Brad has driven before, I think, was the black and gold genuine draft car that he had um, that was actually featured in NASCAR the game, four, NASCAR 14, I think is what I had for the PS3. Yeah, I went straight from inside line to PS3. That's the kind of jump I had. And I never really touched it until um, he came out. One of my favorite things about um, NASCAR the game or excuse me, NASCAR 14 and 15 was the fact that you had the paint booth. And I know that's back in Heat uh, heat 4. Like I said, I just haven't had it. I'm not too worried about it right now, but I had a, a lot of nice cars. I made myself several different sponsored cars. Um, I actually had a uh, Kroger car. I had Kroger. I had... Uh, uh, ooh, a caution. Okay. Let's see. We're not going to pit just yet. Not just yet. I think we can last a few more laps without having to pit. Drive safe and be smart. Keep your head on straight. Almost ready. If there's one thing I really like about Brad Keselowski's car is how fast he is on these restarts. Anything with a long straightaway on a restart, I'm going to end up taking off. And actually, here comes Harvick right on my inside bumper. I'm going to try to block as best as possible, but right now it's too early really in the race for me to worry about getting past all that easy. 14 of 50, and we've got 11 laps of fuel, I think is what it said. 10 laps of fuel. That puts us at about 25 laps. Um, if you don't pit smart, you're going to end up pitting three times, two times in this race. And that might not be the best thing for you. Hopefully this race will be pretty clean. We had one caution already. I'm hoping none of them involve me. But then again, that's what everybody watches NASCAR for, is just to watch the, race, uh, the wrecks. Which, by the way, there was an awful one at the beginning of the season this year with Ryan Newman. Surprisingly, he was pretty much on his feet about a day and a half later. So I'm hoping he comes back to race this year. I don't know if he will. There's been a lot of sports players that have gone down for the count this year. Um, most notably, obviously, Kobe Bryant. Uh, which, during the Auto Club 400, there were actually a couple of Mamba-inspired cars that were nice. Nice cars. You guys have to go look those up. I know William Byron was racing one. And then uh, there was one other guy that was racing another one. And I can't remember it right off the top of my head. Um, but, no, it was kind of nice to see that tribute. And then there's another... There's another basketball player. His name's Chandler Parsons. He used to play for my favorite team. He was a big deal coming out of college and has kind of struggled to keep his footing in the NBA. Um, he was most recently traded to the Hawks. He got in a bad car accident and probably will never play basketball again. And then you have this wreck with Ryan Newman um, and different things like that. And I'm just going to stay to the outside here. Logano's aggressive. Still there. 
And the difference, too, is I hear my spotter a lot better than you guys do. And I think that's Ty Dillon right behind him in the Dow car. Yep, number three. I'm going to get stuck here. I'm just going to give Lugano a bump. Let's see if we can get ahead of Dillon here. I'm just going to hang with him. Never mind. Every time I say I'm going to hang with him, I'm not turning my controller far enough. I just stick on my controller far enough, and I end up swinging out to the outside. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Oh, off the wall. That's going to slow me down. I'm just going to fit right in here behind Logano and try to hold off Dylan. And so, as you guys can see, I'm not the cleanest of drivers. Yeah. I've got the spot now. I'm passing you. Goodbye. Let's go. I'm not the best of drivers. Daytona, I've done a lot of practice at Daytona to try to get myself better. Because that was one of the one of the tracks I struggled the most at. Alright, let's see how many laps of fuel we got left. Six laps. Do I want to ride that all the way down? Yes. I'm going to try. Definitely going to try. Because I don't want to pit twice. That might be the question that people have to answer is, will, are they willing to pit twice? That might be where we might have a chance at winning this race. I might have to bump the difficulty up, though. Back up to 100. Oop, 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 oop. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll just swing out to the outside there. And it's not my car cutting loose or anything. It's just me not turning my controller a lot enough. It's a little bit harder to steer with sticks than it is with, uh, with a wheel, which might be something I look into. So I'm going to bump Logano again. We're going to do the same thing. I keep getting slid right in between Logano and Dylan. Yep, and there goes Dylan, and here comes the 43. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, now Wallace is ahead of me. And we got Bush to the inside. Can we can we maybe buy an in nope, not gonna buy an inside spot there. Tried to bump him out of the way, it didn't work. And here comes Stenhouse too. We're slowing down a little bit, boys. So three laps left. I'm just going to try to fit myself in here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch out, Bush. This is where it gets intense right here for me. I used to suck at driving to the outside and in three wides and stuff like that. I've got a lot better at it at Daytona. And I need to hone my skills at these other tracks, but... I'm kind of boxed in here because Logano's hanging to that middle line, and so is Bush. And then we've got Wallace, who likes the low line. And I think that's Dylan up there, who's also doing mid to low. I'm going to give Wallace a bump, maybe, on this turn here. All right, car in front of me is doing a pit. I'm going to dive as well. I think I'm going to go for the pit as well. Slow down. Oh, we made it. Okay. 29 laps to go. We get 22 after fuel. We're going to have to pit another time, but I think a lot of other people will as well. These guys are probably just holding out one or two more laps. I hope that was the right decision. I hope.
Let's go, 15 seconds. You're clear of the road. We're still ahead of Lagana. We're down in the 30s. I think they're actually going to hang to this lower lane. I want to get out on the track as fast as possible. There's a caution for a who? Well, this might help us. All right, well, I am not going to pit. I hope that helps. It did a little bit. It moved up 20 spots. But who pit right there and now has enough fuel to last them the rest of the race? That may have been a really bad pit decision. We'll find out. We're in 11th behind LaJoy and I think that's William Byron right down here in the Exalta car. He's got some nice cars. That Jeff Gordon throwback there. He usually drives the Liberty, but. And now I've got a three wide. See what I mean with me having just the tiniest bit of problems with the three wides. Now I've got Stenhouse. And see, I'm going to stall out right in the middle of these guys. Let me see if I can get underneath Gowan right here. Let's see. Bowman, Bowman had that nice car. He's the one who won at the Auto Club this past week. Suarez, the man who disappeared. <laughs> he took over for um, Carl Edwards and apparently sucked. And we got Danica, Danica Patrick up here. I guess she's a legend because I don't remember her ever racing the number seven car. I always thought it was number ten, and I know is it. Um, AJ Almendinger who has the 10? No. I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. There's too many of them. We're running up on Wallace here. I might be able to take the lead again. Nope, I'm taking the midline. Never mind, I'm taking the high line. Going back down to the bottom. I'm all over the map. All right, Wallace. I'm coming for you. Wallace has got a nice car. I like the purple with the blue. That light blue on the front. I'm just going to fit right in behind him. And at the last minute, I'm going to dive to the inside. I don't want to bump him at all. Got it. Got the lane. He knows I'm there. And I'm not giving that spot up. No, come back. No! Great. I'm debating pitting early. We've got 20 laps left. If I pit in eight laps, do I think that would help or hurt? What I might do, what I might do, let me see what my tires are looking like. What I might do is pit, take fuel, and nothing else. And not even that much fuel at that, for, for that matter. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. My tires are fine. They felt fine earlier. We're going to try, boys. Try to take this one home. Give, uh, give Brad the dub. I think he came in like... I don't even remember what he what spot he came in in the Daytona 500. Yeah, I'm going to go in in like five laps or so. I'm worried that that's going to be like an awful decision, though. But if I have to pit twice, that does mean everybody else should 
have to pit twice. Hopefully. Hopefully. If you guys want to see more pit stops or anything like that, let me know. If you guys want to see a longer race, shorter race, again, let me know. And I'll be able to accommodate. I don't think I'm going to do full-length races. And I don't think I want to do stage races either. It's just easier to do these in a shorter format. Who all is back there? They're still in like two giant groups back there. And I'm still holding off Wallace, but I can't do it forever because I've got to get just the tiniest bit more gas to last me. And that's why I'm thinking go without tires. Got one down low now. Got one down oh, low. he got the lane on me. Oh, he got the lane on me. He did it. Is Wallace really going to win this? He should. It better be either me or somebody like Harvick or Jimmy Johnson or something like that. Wallace ain't this good. That'll give him a spot in the playoffs. Don't need that. And see, that's estimated fuel up there. I wonder if I just kept going if I would run out of fuel. I'm going to dive on this lap, I think. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the pit and just take the tiniest bit of fuel. I have to. There's, there's no. And I'd rather do it now with all of them behind me and let them clear and then pit later. And me have the fuel... To do it. Let me check my tires. Maybe I can take. Nah, they're pretty even. I think I can do it without tires. I'm about to turn into Lightning McQueen. I'm going to take fuel and nothing else. Drop your speed, driver. All right, there we go. We're taking a half a can of fuel. That'll give us an extra five laps, which will put us at the exact amount that we need to go. And hopefully, we don't lose. In and out, just like that. All right, let's get back in there. Let's go. Come let's on. hope that's not going to come back to bite me. If anything, I won't be dead last, because it looks like somebody might have a DNF. Maybe off of one of those cautions, somebody had to retire. Let me see if I can get back up to speed, and I'm kind of crossing my fingers that people have to pit. Otherwise, this is the worst Daytona 500 I've ever run. <laughs> Actually, I think the last Daytona 500 I ran, I got like 19th or something like that. That was racing in uh, Alex Bowman in the Nationwide car. I love the look of the Chevys on this game, the Camaros, and then the, the um, Mustangs as well. So here's my problem, though. I don't have draft partner. So I've got to count on these guys pitting to get me back up into some sort of standings. And some of them might think like me and just go for fuel and no tires. But we'll see. because 39th is not going to look good. I kind of wanted to try to get on the podium or at least top 10 get some points going, but I was going to run out of fuel before the end of the race. <laughs> and I should have, like, enough fuel to last me maybe an extra lap after the fact. Which I'm hoping I'll just use all that fuel to do a burnout. But they're not going to pit until like probably two or three laps left. I've just got to hope that with nobody in front of me, I can run these, run these laps. Because let's see, the leader is up 20 seconds on me. And I know, let's see, I think that's somebody right up there. Yeah, I see him up there. We're catching up. We're catching up. Gilliland, Rhodes, and Chastain up there. I can't lose to those guys. Those guys are nothing. 
I guess I haven't 100% ironed out the pit strategy here either. But I'm going into this just as blind as you guys are watching. Let's see, all right, some people are starting to pit. This might actually work. This might actually work. I went up an extra like seven spots right there. And I'm catching up to this group here. These are like the bottom feeders of the league. They're probably not going to do much more than this. We've got 12 laps left and 15 laps of fuel. Awesome. <laughs> Just that half a tank of half a tank of fuel. And they're, from what my spotter is saying, their car's pitting ahead of me too. There's one. Anybody else? Suarez, of course. <laughs> Hasta la vista. I'll take over the 19 and race better than you. And I've never touched a car with that kind of horsepower in my life. We're catching back up, boys. Let's go. We're in 30th. If I can crack top 20, top 15. We'll see how that does. Might actually, I do have a draft partner. I'm starting to draft now. Yes. Hemrick. Hemrick, I've done a, uh, in Heat, uh, Heat 2. He's got an Xfinity car that's got that, uh, the Smoky Mountain Snuff. That's one of my favorite cars out of the Xfinity cars. Let's go. I'm going to get boxed in here split the middle see if we can do this nope not quite keep getting in the bump nope I'm gonna yeah I'll go high I was gonna try to go low but it looks like these guys roads and all of them are gonna take the low line Chastain no sponsor 66 hill uh, like minimal sponsors and you've got a guy in the back who's racing a 55 who doesn't have a sponsor. That tells you how good they are. Stay high, stay high. Still there. Galding is going to box me in here. Going to bump him out of the way. The bottom lane isn't free yet. There it goes. Whoa. Was that the 43? I think that was the 43 that was respawning on the track there. I can't believe if something went wrong if, that they didn't call a caution. And I've got him on strict yellow. It's got all flags, strict yellow. I might actually make it through this race with barely a scratch on me. That's the first time I can actually say that. Not awful right now either. I'm still waiting for people to pit. We've got eight laps left. And I'm waiting for people to pit. Mm, that one hurt. I'm going to try the middle line here. Since I'm kind of in a happy medium in between these two groups, I think I'm gaining on the one in the back. Or excuse me, leaving the one in the back, gaining on the ones up front. I think it was a God-tier decision to not go with a set of tires. Where's the tire meter? Yeah, I think it was a God-tier decision to not go with a set of tires. That would have pushed me back, and I bet you people would have lapped me off of that. Just that three seconds it took to get gas. I can only cross my fingers that it's not going to come back to bite me. And I'm going to end up taking an L <laughs> with one of my tires. I think the lowest tire I had there is the front right at 68% there. Nobody else is pitting.
I can't even tell you who's in front of me here. Let's see. DiBendetto. I'm coming for you. Trying to catch up here. It's a little bit more difficult, especially without a draft partner. I'm worried about the guys back there catching a draft partner and catching up to me. Because DiBendetto is kind of, oh, here we go. We're catching him now. We're catching him now. He went in that turn way too slow. We're going to get him to draft. Even Dedo's kind of on an island, though. He's kind of in the same position I am where there's not much I can do about it. Dig, 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 dig. Goal at this point, because I don't know if anybody else is going to pit. Goal at this point is top 20. Can I take the inside lane from the Vendetta? Yep, I'm going to. Kappa, that used to be, uh, hmm, what was his name? I know he still races, races one of these cars around here somewhere. Yes, people are pitting. Yes, it worked. It worked. What move? Could possibly be smoother. Oh, we're up in fourth, and I think these guys have to pit up here too. Let's go. Let's go. We might be taking a dub for the Daytona 500. Way to open up the season. We're at least, at least top five. We're going to get some points from this. Four laps left. I don't know when these guys pitted up here, but I think these are the guys who are really good. I'm talking like Harvick. Kyle Larson might be up there. Denny Hamlin might be up there. Denny Hamlin's always one of the most annoying drivers uh, in NASCAR in any of the games. A couple of them are driving. Diving. I am in first. I think we did it, and this is lap traffic up here. I think we did it. Cross our fingers that our tire doesn't bust. But I think we just won the Daytona 500. We are rolling. This makes me excited for the season. I know I, I'm personally, I personally think I'm extremely good at Dover. I think we can take a dub there. I was good at really good at Bristol and Heat 2. Heat 3, I was having a few more issues that was putting me in the lower, like higher teens, early 20s. So we'll see what happens there. But I think we might be able to ride this race out until, until next week. When we go to Vegas. Oh yeah. And I know I'm looking around a lot. I like the look of this car. Who is this back here? Bowman. I feel bad for him. Two to go. We about to go to the white and the checker. Later, Hemrick. This is all just lap traffic at this point. I'm lapping people. We had, I think we had at least one DNF that we'll see. We might be taking the discount tire to victory lane today. Bowman, he's a really fast car, honestly. He's not looking too good as a CPU driver, but Bowman should not be in the company of Suarez down here. White flag, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready. Get victory lane ready. I know Brad used to do a Miller Lite in victory lane. I think he still does. Come on, don't mess me up, Suarez. Just move out of the way. 
Just let me pass. I'm clearly the faster car. You have no chance of winning this. Even if he took me out. Yeah, if he took me out, I'd be a little more concerned. Here comes the checkered flag. We did it. Race number one is ours. The Daytona 500 has been claimed by yours truly with Brad Keselowski. Let's get our speed rating. We're going to do a burnout. First one of hopefully a lot. Note to self, I suck at burnouts and I think I got myself stuck. Let's go. Here we go. Here's a nice little one. Turn some turn some donuts. If we can. I gotta work on my burnouts. That'll be challenge number two. Alright. Let me see if I can get up here with the with the Daytona 500 in the background. And we'll get a shot right here. Us at the Daytona 500, taking the dub. All right, let's get into victory lane. No victory lane, what? Fun race though, and it's already showing the replay. We started eighth, ended fourth. Great race, great way to start the season. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Championship bound, hopefully. Who knows, I could crap the bet on the rest of these races. Believe it or not, this is my first career W at the Daytona 500. Like I said, my next best finish was about 19th, 19th place back at NASCAR the game inside line. That's how long it's been since I've raced the Daytona 500. There's a caution right there. Okay. So it was a no-name who caused the caution. No sponsor. Of course it was. Great race. And it looks like we did have one DNF, which was, if I can get down. Keep going. Ty Dillon. The Geico car. Looks like it was a DNF. Well, we got 40 points out of that. That was fun. Way to start. There's victory lane. There's the trophy. Debatably the best race of the NASCAR season, and we just took it home. Let's go. Do a backflip, Brad. They need to add that into the game, add a backflip in there. So here we go. Fastest lap, Joey Logano. 22 laps led, which is most laps led. Started 18th, finished second. Good job, Ryan Newman. He's got a pretty badass car. It's like a, uh, like a Cabela's, I think it was. Because he's got the normal bla um, the black and orange Bass Pro Shop car. But awesome, awesome. He started 18th and finished second. It's easy on the move driver. Tough break. Started 13th, ended 39th. Daryl Wallace Jr. He was the guy who led for a while. He was the one I was having trouble with for a little bit. We're going to finish this event. I'm going to leave the track. Should I extend the race just a little bit? Because the next thing we got is a quick trips full uh, Pennzoil 400. Let's see how many laps. We're going to actually up the difficulty right now. Whoops. We had two times normal, all strict yellow. 
custom up to a hundred. I don't think I'm really. And we've done quick qualify. Um, full damage, stability help, trans transmission. Cool. We're good. Save the changes. All right. Way to start the season. Next race is the Pennzoil 400 at Vegas. We'll see you guys there.